sure, Irenia. Um, tell me which exercises do you need? Hello, good evening, Irene. How are you? Very well, thank you, teacher, for asking and you. Good, I'm doing okay, thank you. How was your day? Um, my day was very heavy, but uh, I am happy. Good, good. You're in Santana, right? Yes, I live in Santana, teacher. What part of Santana? Uh, in, the, in the downtown. Downtown. Yes, mm -hmm. I like Santana. It's a nice, beautiful city. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Nowadays, it's a uh, it's similar the traffic that San Salvador teacher. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 uh the the city is growing. It has a uh, new housing projects, so more people. Yeah. Mm hmm. Before this. Yeah. But some downtown Santana has some big, beautiful houses. <laughs> yeah, so some some houses is is, is big, are yep. big. Yeah, some houses are big. Exact. Okay. Hello, Julia. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good. How was your day, Julia? A busy day. We okay. had I had a lot of traffic, a lot of planes flying. Okay. It's a busy day. It's been fun in the morning, but yeah, busy day. But okay. it was a good day. Good. I don't like to complain. Good. Job good. is job and thanks exactly. to God for having exactly. job. Exactly. Good. Exactly. Many people are looking for, for work. Many people. So. Yes, I know. Yeah, right. The situation is complicated, but mm -hmm. I have a good day. Good. Very good. All right. So welcome back, everybody. Irene, Julia, Jose, and Erenia. What is today's date? October 13th or, yeah. 13th. Yeah, October 13th. Uh, what's the year? 2020. 2020, okay. So what was the celebration yesterday? Columbus Day. Columbus Day, very good. So I don't think it's a celebration, but people mention it. People mention it. It's not a celebration for us, because right. I think that we are the victims. Exactly. Exactly. It's not a celebration for us. I'm not. A, I'm personally. I'm. A, I'm not agree. Yeah. You know, celebrate. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, Wendy, you're back. Hello. Welcome Hello. back, Wendy. <laughs> All right, so it's October 13, 2020. Do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Who remembers? Mm -hmm. Who? Audio or profession or Good. Mm -hmm. activities. Yes. For Exactly. We practice an audio and they were talking about professions. Very good. Okay. What else? What else do we do? Do you remember? Did we talk about anything? You know, that was the listening part, the part that Irene uh, mentioned. Did we talk about something else? Anything else? The future. We talk. Yes, we talk about the future, and we also spoke about how creative you are. How creative you are. 
All right, any questions or comments before we start? No? Okay, so let's begin. Our first activity is related with possibilities. Let me look for this document here. <laughs> I think it's this one here. Let me check. Okay, can you see the three questions? Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, may, may I have a volunteer to read number one? When you make decisions? When you make decisions, do you explore all the possib possibilities first? Okay, very good. Another volunteer for number two. Who do you talk to when you need to find a solution to an important problem? Very good. And the last volunteer, number three. Me, teacher. Okay, good. When was the last time you analyzed, analyzed a mistake you made? What did you learn for, from, from it? it? From it, okay. Remember you say analyzed, analyzed. analyzed. So when was the last time you analyzed the mistake you made? What did you learn from it? Okay, are the three questions clear? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so let me assign you we're going to discuss these questions and here we go. Loading, loading, loading. In the supermarket, uh, request the, the Dewey, the number of the, of the Dewey. Do you remember that that that, that part? Yes, I was so couldn't brain. go uh, whenever exactly. you wanted. I couldn't go every day, mm -hmm. or at least every day uh, the days that I wanted to go. So I was suffering. Mm -hmm. Really, I think, was a suffering. I was. I imagine. I think it wasn't so hard for me because I was accustomed to go to that supermarket only once a week. So I, that was my normal. Oh. I understand. <laughs> so you're talking uh, about the restrictions? Sure. Yes. Yeah, I we're question. talking about the days when the people in the supermarket uh, request uh, the, the Dewey, the number of yeah. Dewey, you remember? Yeah. Oh, I was suffering, <laughs> uh, yeah, suffering about that. <laughs> yes, sir, how, how do you say, like, yo soy una persona muy casera, so that I like to I, uh, get home most of, most yeah, of the time. Uh, uh, I stay at home most of the time. I stay at home. Okay. I stay at home, yes. Okay. I stay at home most of the time. Thank you. Okay, Thank good. You. Okay. The ways that I can choose and maybe uh, this, this practice make all the process very slow. <clears throat> yes, our lives always fulfill the to make a decision, took a decision in order to do the best option for us. Yes. 
Okay. Number two, who, who do you talk so no, who do you talk to when you need to find a solution to an important problem? Hmm. Well, in my case, when I first of all I like to to analyze in order to 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 have the the better the better option, then I I like to. I do mistakes. Yeah, okay, but sometimes I think that it could be an advantage, but as I said, it depends on the situation. And what about you, Irene? Irene? Or Irene, as the teacher <laughs> I will share my screen because I don't remember the, the, the question, sorry. We were talking about if you analyze uh, the decisions you you take or if you think about all the options that you have before okay. making the decision okay in my case when i make uh, i make a uh, first i explore the the possibilities uh, the, the, the better possibilities because uh, i consider very prudent in my in my goals <laughs> And sometimes um, for me it's better analyze 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 uh, the possibilities. <clears throat> okay. Good. Solution correctly or you make more or bigger the, the, the problem because you search a, a people and not correct people to solve. Yes, it depends on the situation or the problem. We going to to the to look for the best solution. We need to find the, the correct people in order to to get the best advice. I think. Yes, I I, I agree with you. Uh, hi, hi. Hey. <laughs> Hello, Vilma. Good evening. Hi. Good evening, Isia. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm late again. <laughs> Don't worry. Better late than never. Okay. okay. Thank you, teacher. Sure. Okay. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm literally, I'm drawing on, on, on my problems, but I, I don't like to, to, to tell my things, even friends or parents or brother, sister. I'm like, okay. it's my problem and I, I need to solve to solve it by in my own. So nobody. So you don't like to ask for advice? No. Life? No. no. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And have you always been like that, Julia? Um no, but uh I learned I learned that if you maybe if you, when when you Trust, trust in somebody, people uh, let you let you down. People, nah. people. so you like, prefer to I, keep it to yourself. Most of the time, like ten years ago, I uh, learned to 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 be in this way. Okay, and I feel very comfortable in Good. this way and have no problems. I don't like even I don't like to show my life uh, in my Facebook or Instagram. Just a little bit, but. Mm -mm. Okay. Good. Good.
Uh -huh. And I have to. <laughs> ah, ¿Cómo me dijeron que se dice préstamo? <laughs> Long. 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 The money to pay my graduation uh -huh, in the bank. And that was a bad decision because my sister told me, don't worry, I'm going to give you the money. And I took the decision and I... <laughs> loan. Loan. No, no. How to loan the money in the bank? And I, I now I think that I was that decision was very bad mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And why didn't you accept your sister's help? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Why? What's the reason you didn't accept your sister's help? Uh, no, I just, uh, ah, because I had, ten, I had, ¿Cómo se dice tenía, teacher? I had, I had, I had, I had, I had, in that time, I had three days to pay the, to pay the money in the university, oh. and, yes, and I needed the, the money, um, rápido, uh, no sé, yeah, uh -huh. fast, yeah, fast. And so I I had I took that decision and I went to the bank and, and I asked uh, I asked a present loan. You asked for a loan. I, uh, I have to do a loan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher. I'm sorry. Okay, and and now I think that I, that decision was bad. Uh -huh. And my sister told me, oh, "Don't worry, I'm gonna give you the money," but. When that time I was very afraid. <laughs> worry, worry, worry. I was very worried. <laughs> and I needed the, the, the money. Okay. The money, yes. All right. Yeah. Let's okay. go back to the main session. <laughs> okay. Thank you, teacher. All right, any questions or comments about what you guys were discussing? No, remember uh, that in Spanish you say tomar decisiones. In English, you don't say take decisions. You say make decisions. So I made a bad decision. So you make decisions. Yes. Williams, welcome back. Thanks. Long time no see you. I know I was working a lot. Uh, I just I come at home. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, ha have you guys heard that expression? Long time no see you. No. Yeah. I'm, like... drinking, I'm drinking a cup of coffee. All right. Good. Drink your coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know that expression "long time no see you." Grammatically speaking, is not correct. Yeah. Oh, how, right. do you, how do you say "no te he visto en un buen rato"? I haven't seen you for a long time. Exactly. I haven't seen you in a long time. Mm -hmm. You use present perfect, but people in the states, Canada, uh, England, whenever they use the uh, uh, English. It's a very common expression that people say, long time no see you. Long time no see you. Okay. All right. So anyways, um, any questions uh, before we change activity? No. Okay. Now we go to a listening, speaking activity. Let me see this here. Uh -huh. Share. Let me open this. So what do you guys usually do at 8 p.m. when you don't have your English class? In case I read or sometimes I just uh, watch Facebook or... Check, can I say watch? No, right? I'll check. I check, check my uh, Facebook check my Facebook or something like that. But, but most of the time, I read. Good. Reading is, is, is such a nice activity. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. 
What about the others? What do you guys usually do? Mm. Go, do you go to sleep early? Mm. In my case, yes. You do? Yes. Yeah, All right. I do. I do it. All right, before good. Before the before the pandemic, I was uh, used to go to sleep at nine or ten, but now that I'm working from home, I go to sleep at around ten or eleven or sometimes midnight or something like that because I wake up a a little bit late in the in the morning. So okay. I, I, I think it it. It has changed because of this situation. Right, right. Yeah, you know, the pandemic has changed uh, people's mm -hmm. schedules, you know, like mm -hmm. some people wake up later, sometimes people wake up earlier, and it, it has changed people's uh, program. Okay, so now we go to medical advice. That's going to be the topic. Can you see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. So the level is intermediate. The topic, medical advice. In the conversation, we have a man and a woman. And the audio is only one minute and 35 seconds. But before we do the listening, we have to activate our knowledge. So may I have a volunteer to read the pre-listening section, please? Willie Sachs. Mm-hmm. Yes, only one, only one. Me, teacher. All right, go ahead. What are some of the most common problems for which people go to a doctor and seek medical advice and examination? Do you ever look for medical advice or medication online? Very good. Are, thank you. Are the two questions clear, class? Okay. Like in El Salvador, the most common reasons why people go to the doctors uh, to ask for advice or examination. And the second question is about you. Do you ever look for medical advice or medication online? Are the questions clear? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes. All right, so let's recreate. Here we go. Open rooms. And there we are. There. It's not here we are. Here no. we are. Uh -huh. <laughs> here we are. Here we go. Okay. There you are. There you go. Okay. advice or medication online no i haven't never at least online in the in these times in the pandemic in the pandemia i thought maybe uh, in look for medical uh, advice online but close because if i if i want to go to visit my sister or my mom i i cannot do it by walking so it's not mm -hmm. Uh -huh, it's not okay. like, like you. Where do they live? They, they live here in Lourdes, but in different <gasps> neighborhoods. My sister mm -hmm. lives there, in Lourdes. What Lourdes? Lourdes? Yeah. What? Uh, Nuevo Lourdes? Oh, I yes. live in Nuevo Lourdes. Ah, the, yeah, yeah. Uh, the same as my sister. My sister lives there. Oh, oh. Chocolate. Yeah. Huh? Chocolate. What? Oh, give me five. Give me five. Okay. Okay, give me five. The topic is about medical. Okay. 
<clears throat> Mario. Hi. Hi, Francisco. How are you? Hi, yeah. everybody. It's, it's been years since we last saw you. Yeah. Sorry. Pardon for that because I was working a lot in all the week and I feel very embarrassing for that. For that. So don't worry. Sorry. Oh, don't no. Worry. It's, it's a big problem because I, I didn't hear the last week and today is, I don't know, I am, I, I pass around five days, maybe if I can hear with us. So okay. sorry, sorry are, for that. Are, are, are you doing the platform? Uh, I, I received a message from the English Corporativo because I didn't uh, uh, do the, the, all the, the exercises. Platform. See, I, I didn't do the exercises. Okay. Yeah, because uh, the reason uh, why we insist in, 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 the, in the platform, because that's where InsaForb evaluates you. So they check if you have finished 80% um, of, the, of the activities. So if you, when you reach to the 80%, you receive a, 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 an announcement that said, hey, congratulations, you have 80%, and then you are free to go to the next level. That's why. Okay, yeah, I, I understand, Francisco, and sorry for that. No, don't worry. Just mm -hmm. just make sure that you finish the the 80%, so you have the chance to go to the to the next level. Okay, okay. Sure. And uh, what is the last day that I can try to, to complete all the Friday. exercises? Friday, this Friday. Okay. So you have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You have 72 hours. Okay, okay. Yeah, so try to do it and, and, and so you don't miss your chance to go to the next level. Okay. All right, good. The, the heart or what is hurt you? And I said, okay, my arm. So, uh, it's touch you. How, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, over here, over here, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it's here. I, I, I can't imagine. Yeah. yeah. For me, it's the same. I I make a joke when I I be thinking about it because I don't imagine I, who I explain to the doctor my, my own symptoms. Yeah. Because uh, the doctor can be touch me for body the the part of body I had a, a pain or yeah or any specific symptom. Exactly. Maybe some some types of uh, uh, of medical advice uh, when you need a nutritionist. I, yes. I, I think it, it, it's possible in a specific yeah. Uh, area. Yeah, it's but possible imagine, to, to imagine have online when, when you consult your your doctor consulting uh, is a younger medical. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> that, that person don't have experience. And, yeah. And they, I, I can make uh, appropriately the diagnostic. Exactly. It's my opinion. Um, yeah, maybe. In my case. All right, welcome back. Uh, any comments or questions? Uh, what, is, what is the most common problems why Salvadorians go to hospitals to see doctors? Any ideas? Flu? Nowadays, maybe. 
Nowadays it's for COVID-19. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and they say there is an increase of, of numbers of cases. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. I was reading about that today. Uh-huh. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, we have to be more careful than before and, and not take things for granted. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And here we have uh, idioms. Do you remember the meaning of idioms? How can you explain the word idioms? It's like a, a popular phrase, maybe. Okay. Someone else? What's an idiom? Are like common expressions that native speakers use or something like that. Okay, good. Yes. Remember that idioms are expressions that native speakers use, like whatever language, Chinese, Spanish, English. Um, and the expression that they use, the vocabulary in this expression is, the meaning is not literal. So like keep fit, what's the meaning of keep fit? So if someone asks you, uh, why do you exercise so much? You say, oh, to keep fit. What does that mean? Como mantenerse en forma. O good, algo así. yeah. In shape, yeah. Yeah, to be in good condition. And what's the meaning of shed pounds? Uh, when you increase your weight, when you when you lose weight. Yeah. yeah, when you lose weight, when you lose weight. All right. Any question? No. No. All right. Let me check this here. New share. Share. I will put you on mute so you don't have any. Uh, <laughs> interruption so just pay attention and here we go with the listening and take notes if you can take notes dr carter's office yes i'd like to make an appointment to see dr carter please is this your first visit yes it is okay could i have your name please yes my name is ronald schuler and may I ask who referred you to our office? Uh, I drove past your office yesterday. Okay. How about the day after tomorrow on Wednesday at 4 o'clock? Uh, do you happen to have an opening in the morning? I usually pick up my kids from school around that time. Okay. Um, how about Tuesday at 8 a.m. or Thursday at 8.15 a.m.? Uh, do you have anything earlier, like 7.30? No, I'm sorry. Well, in that case, Thursday would be fine. Okay. Um, could you, okay, could I have your phone number, please? It's 6430547. All right, and what's the nature of your visit? Uh, mm, mm. Yes, sir. Well, to tell the truth, I fell from a ladder two days ago while painting my house, and I sprang my ankle when my foot landed in a paint can. I suffered a few scratches on my hands and knees, but I'm most concerned that the swelling in my ankle hasn't gone down yet. Well, did you put ice on it immediately after this happened? Well, yeah, I just filled the paint can with ice and... And so after you removed the paint can... Sir? Sir, Mr. Schuller, are you still there? Well, that's part of the problem. Uh, the paint can is still on my foot. Look, Mr. Schuller, please come in today. I don't think your case can wait. All right, you can unmute yourselves. So what is the man's name? Ronald. Ronald. Let's check Ronald. Okay, that is a correct answer. Um, from the conversation, how did the man probably find out about Dr. Carter? Uh, how did the man probably find out? So a friend referred to him, he found the number in the phone book, or he saw the office on his way uh, home? The last option. The last option. Let's check. Yes. I did it. Okay. When does the man have his appointment? Thursday. Thursday. Uh, Thursday, I think. Okay. Let's check. Yes. It's Thursday. Now, the man injured his ankle when what? 
Step in a hole. Stepped in a hole? Does everybody agree? Sure. Yes, no, maybe? Yes. yes. Okay. Oh, no. fell down a ladder. Okay. <laughs> fell from a ladder. Okay. Fell from a ladder. Do you remember the meaning of ladder? Yeah. Uh huh. Escalera, exactly. And the receptionist suggests that the man what? Come into the office. Uh huh. Okay, let's yes. check. All right, good. So you got four answers, four good answers out of five. All right, any questions or comments about this exercise? No. Okay, all right, so let's continue. Now we go to a knowledge check from the, um, do you remember non-defining uh, clauses? Non-defining. It's like when you need a, uh, a complement to give that complete idea or something sure. like that. Sure, sure. You need a complement. Uh, you need a... a to finish what you began. Let me give you an example. A non-defining clause is when you start with the word which. So you said, um, I'm going to the stadium this Saturday, which is the reason why I'm not going to work. I'm going to the stadium this Saturday, which is the reason why I'm not going to work. So I want to give away all my old books. I have locked my keys in my car. I'm going to repaint my room next week. My son made a robot costume for himself. Our neighbor saves her empty jars for my dad. My new cell phone can store and play music. It's easy to get lost when driving in a new city. Adam still listens to music on an old fashioned record player. So for each one of those eight scenarios, um, you need to give a, a, a reason. I want to give away all my books, my old books. What would be the best answer in that one? Which is why you saw me opening it with a coat hanger which is great since he uses them to store nails, which is great because I can uh, listen to it. Which one is the best answer? Maybe the last one. Uh -huh. Which means I had to get box sets. Exactly. So I want to give away all my old books, yeah. which means I have to get boxes for them. Exactly. Because all the others do not make sense. All right, so number two, I have locked my keys in my car. What would be the best answer for that one? For me, the first one. The first, the first one? one? Which is why you saw me open it with a coat hanger. What's a hanger? Gancho. Good, very good. All right. Exercise three, I'm going to repaint my room next week. What would be the best answer? All which new papers. Say? Which one? Uh, which is why I've been, been saving all newspapers. Okay, which is why I've been saving all newspapers. Very good. Because you put in the floor. Exactly, yep. And, and even if you consider yourself to be a good painter, say, no, I don't need newspaper. You know, sooner or later, <laughs> you drop paint on the floor, even if you have experience. Yes. Okay, my son made a robot costume for himself. What is a costume? Do you remember the word costume? Disfraz. Disfraz. 
Disfraz. In this case means disfraz. So my son made a robot costume for himself. What would be the best answer? Which is why he was covered in aluminum for yesterday. Okay, which is, which number is that? The sixth one, I think. Six. Okay, what you saw me, which is great, and you use, uh, which is because I listen to, uh, which is why I've been having, uh, which is why, uh, okay, yes. So, which is why he was covered in aluminum foiled yesterday. Aluminum. 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 Yes, aluminum. aluminum. How many syllables do you hear in the word aluminum? aluminum. Three. Four. Aluminum. Aluminum. Four. Aluminum. Four is correct. Four is correct. Okay, what about number five? Our neighbor saves her empty jars for my dad. Mm -hmm. Which is a strange science uh, cassettes and CDs have been around for so long now. Okay, which is strange since cassettes and CDs have been around. I think it's the, the second one, which is great since he uses them to store nails and things in his workroom. Yes. So so with the with the compliment you neighbor saves versus dad yes so which is great since he uses them to store nails and things in his workroom what is the meaning of nails what's the meaning uh, yes. of nails yes clavos clavos yeah. it, it, it also means uñas but in this case it's clavos yes okay. number six my new cell phone can store and play music Music, there is a spelling mistake. Uh, what would the uh, answer for number six? Uh, that was the last one. No, which is number strange. Three. Number three. Okay, my new cell phone can store and play music. Which is because I can listen in a while. Uh huh. Which is great because I can listen to it while I'm on the subway. Yes. All right. We have number seven. It's easy to get lost when driving in a new city. Which is why personal navigation uh -huh. system were developed for cars. Okay. Yeah. Which number is that one, Julia? Uh -huh. It's number five. Not sure. Three, four, number five. Yeah. Which is why personal navigation systems were developed for cars. Okay. Good. And the last one, Adam still listens to music on an old fashioned record player. What would be the best answer? Cheers, drink, cassette, and CD have been around for so long now. Good, which is strange since cassettes and CDs have been around for so long now. All right. Do you listen to music? Do you guys listen to music? Yes. How do you listen to music? Do you use CDs? Do you use uh, the radio? What do you use? Spotify. Most of the time. <laughs> okay, <Sure>. Spotify. <laughs> do you ever watch videos in YouTube? Yes. Yeah. All right. Good. Okay, any questions about um, non-defining clauses? No? No. Okay, so let's go to our last activity. We have exactly 10 minutes. And today's um, conversation is about homes, houses and homes. What's the difference between a house and a home? Anybody? I the house is the building. Okay, and home? And, the, and home is the, the space in two. Okay, someone um, else? I think I think houses is in plural, like we, we saw a lot of houses and home is like you call when you live in that house. 
Okay. Another uh, explanation? Anybody? I think that that when you talk about or you mention how is like something superficial or referring to the infrastructure, but when you say home, it's because you feel loved or that that is the place you, you belong to, something like that. Okay. So imagine the house where you are right now. It's empty. It's only a house. But if there is a family inside, then it's a home. Okay. Um, take a, a, a screenshot uh, from my screen. And if not, you can use the, the WhatsApp chat. Let me rearrange you for the last time here. Okay. He's going to be in room three. And here we go. Telephone number. No hay nada de tomar. No, hombre. Ah, guarras, pajarita. Y le dijiste algo a tu mamá que ya no vas a ir. Uh -huh. Entonces no le digas eso. Decirle, vendo más yo de la casa. Uh Mm -hmm. What's your favorite thing about your home? In my case, is the the living. Uh, <laughs> the living room. The living room. <laughs> yeah, because uh, the few times that I stay at home, <laughs> I I stay in my living room. Good. Is it fresh? Is it a fresh living room? Yeah, it's a fresh, it's a, it, for the color too. <laughs> oh, what color is it? The living room is it's black in the, how do you say, a, a cojín? <laughs> the cushions. The cushions are a light, light, light green. Good, good. <laughs> what about you, Norma? What is your favorite place in your house? Well, my favorite place is my cooking. Your kitchen? My, my kitchen area because I like to the cook. Good. And, and, I, and when I make our, the actual house, I am designing that area. Oh. And, I put, and I put all the thing I need to use when I cooking. Good. And it's very special and had a a, a good organization for all the things in there. Good, good. Nice, congratulations. Thank you. And my family, very happy for that. <laughs> I, I imagine, I imagine. <laughs> all right. Because I don't have Friday, more time. It's the uh -huh, last day, Friday I know. The last one. Uh -huh. Yes, I know, but 
ah, I'm, I, I have a, lo a lot of work to do in, in, in this moment.